Hello and welcome back to another Roxy's Weekly Challenge. This one is um, week number 18 and is garden themed collage ephemera. Now this one threw me for a loop because this is not my usual style of, um, of my journals, but I've been doing Roxy's challenges for quite some time and I'm not going to stop now. So I had to go and purchase a digital kit. Yes, I did. That featured birds and flowers. Now, my fussy cutting of flowers is not the best, so we're going to try to make this work. Um, I did go ahead and back up my book page. That's going to be my base. I might do some inking, not all. I'm not sure if I'm going to ink those flowers. Um, but I did pull out some scraps to be able to um, add some contrast and break up this um, this um, book page font. And this is kind of a big page to work with for what she has in mind, but we're going to wing it and see what happens. This one, I did no pre-trial, prep work or nothing so we will see how this turns out so I think I'm gonna put that there and then I had this um, I like that dream okay I always got to stop and remember that if I want a smoother edge um, I have to cut I have to tear differently. See, so I don't get that white. Learned that the hard way. Okay, I think I'm gonna wanna probably break this up a little bit. We'll see. We're just gonna go wing it. Um, and hope for the best. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I have been, um, doing well myself um, took the fur babies to the vet for a wellness checkup and they are doing well little Luna can't say she's little anymore she weighs about 15 pounds and uh, Loki weighs 11 and little Leo weighs 11 pounds even though Loki's a little bigger but I think what keeps Loki slim is his anxiety. He's constantly running, um, barking, doing circles. You know, he's always on the go. All right. Oh, gosh. Here we go. So, um, it's a garden theme, so it has to be laid out in a way that you would probably encounter it in the garden. So do I want this one? No. That one? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so when I cut them, they'll you'll see different um, layers. Some book page. Maybe bring that one up just a little bit. Seems like it's too far down. I might have to trim this page, but this one might be a little too big now. If I scrunch up, oh, upside down. If I scrunch up, um, yeah, I might have to cut this part off. Okay, not gonna ink the flowers. Not gonna try. I might just break them. So, and I printed this on regular copy paper, so it's not even um, heavyweight copy paper. So I might be fragile, so I don't want to take the chance. Okay, here we go. Um, did I want that there? I think I wanted that there. And I think before I lay that down, I'm going to want to do this one. I'm just gluing off the side. Not sure if you can see me, but just gluing. Not missing much. Okay, let's put 
that there. Let's pick you up. Lay you there. Okay. And then lay everything down. And then we're going to do this one. Oh, that's the sticky side. Okay, this is the good side. Ooh, this is so out of my comfort zone. But let's see. Can I do it? Can I do it? How do I want this? I want it like that. Okay. Not horrible, I don't think. Okay. Now for the birds. I think I might want one. Here, it looks like he's sitting on a branch. He has no feet. Maybe one down here. Oh, this is so hard, guys. I think he's a little too big. Okay, we're going to have to go with him. Not thinking about it. We're just going to do it. We are just going to do it. Okay. Where did I say him? Somewhere around there. Okay. And then him, he could be up here. Let's see. And she cuts this into um, tags and journal cards and stuff that she can, we can use in our journal. So let's see. Okay. I want him down here. He's too big. All right. Let's see. Let's see how this is going to turn out. It's still a little wet, so I'm nervous. So let's say six inches, right? Okay. And let's just clean up the sides a little bit. Okay. And let's clean up. Let's do the side. Okay. Sorry about that. A call came through. Like always forgetting to put the do not disturb okay so how big is this this is about i don't think i'm gonna get too much out of this but this is about a little less than eight inches so i can probably get away with maybe a three oh, i'm gonna cut off the bird's face if i do it this way Okay, we'll do a three and a half inch journal card. Okay, that's cute. And then I have uh, let's make it. Let's make it. Let's make it Dahlia, make a decision. Okay, we're just gonna cut it at two inches and this will be a little bit more. So I got a skinny tag. I gotta glue that down better. I got a skinny tag and a slightly larger tag. Anything else popped up? No. Okay, now, do I want anything else? Now she laid these down before she cut it i think i'm going to, i wanted to do it after that's just my personal preference there's no right or wrong so let's bring this little book back and i think do i want this one maybe i just want this one is that cut straight This is a, a digital kit. I can't tell you exactly where I got it. I don't remember, but by the time this video comes up, I'll probably put it in my description box. 
in case you are interested. And what do I want to do here? We are going to snip the corners. And of course, I ink everything. I want to round the corners in the bottom too. So let me find that. Not so big. Make sure it's down. I even might go back and sew these. Is still wet. Okay. So that's that one. Let me do this one. This is right side up. Little bits flying everywhere. Okay, I think this can grow on me. I'll tell you honestly, guys, when I saw this challenge, I was so intimidated. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't do that. I'm just going to round the corners. This is going to be a journaling card. Okay, finish with that, finish with that. All my little bits is in my basket. And... Loving the birds. I did want to make a botanical uh, botanical journal, but I wasn't rushing it because I knew I didn't have a lot of the, the fussy cut. Oh, I love the rush, rough edge. That blade needs to be changed. Um, I knew I didn't have a lot of the fussy cut um, things that I would need to make it work. And um, now I can. All right, so we put a label on that one. I think this one, I want to just, what do I want to do? Mm, I don't like any of these that I pulled out. Oh, maybe this, no. Oh, that's not horrible. Maybe somewhere around there. So I don't know if I asked you guys, but I hope everyone's doing well. And um, enjoying the weather. Now that everything has um, started to shift, please be safe out there. This crazy weather has been outrageously dangerous. And um, many of you are in the Central Plains or in the Midwest. So please be careful. I'm just going to lay that right there. Feels like it needs something else. But once I add the string and everything else, maybe that might be enough. How about this one? What do I have for this one? None of that that I like. And this was everything that was in that kit, guys. It was a huge kit. Ooh, maybe a number. Oh, I like this. Seems like the wrong color. Uh, what else is in here? Um, maybe just maybe a little bit towards the top, not on the bottom. Maybe I can add a word sentiment on the bottom. I've been trying to keep my videos down. Um, in time. Not making them too lengthy if they don't have to be. So I made three, pushing it. Oh my gosh, pushing it. So let's move all of this off to the side. Because I get messy. I have to spread everything out, take a look at everything, dump everything. <laughs> That's just me. Let's put all this away. Okay. So here is Roxy's weekly challenge number 18, spring themed, uh, spring garden, uh, spring garden collage ephemera. Um, so we collage some pieces on here and I have a journaling card that's backed and ready to go. 
I have a skinny long tag with a bird. I really like them. They're growing on me. And then um, this one here with <laughs> the back end of a bird. I have to plan that better. The back end of a bird. Um, and they're ready to go. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. I'll see you at the next uh, video. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you to my old subscribers for always leaving me the lovely comments and always showing me so much love and so much support. I truly could not be where I'm at without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, my friends, stay crafty. Bye-bye.